topic today the topic azure recovery service vault and how to we can backup files and folder from azure this topic only cover with the azure uh, azure service okay not in the on premises how to we can backup the next video is cover for on premises also okay so here i will cover with it. Uh, what is azure recovery service vault and how to we can configure azure service recovery service vault and how to we can take one file backup so demo also i will show the demo okay so we will go for the next topic uh, what is azure recovery service vault azure recovery service vault is cloud hosted backup and a replication solution also a hybrid solution uh, also is supporting hybrid solution so azure recovery service vault cloud hosted backup okay it support both azure machine and physical machine uh, in your on premise data center support both azure uh, azure machine azure means your cloud based service and also it support for your on premises like your windows server hosted in the data center or this like this type of things also their stuff and this this have the template for the azure recovery service vault have template that included file share and certain database product like sql server sap hana running on the azure vms this are the backup template available for azure vms okay so next step how to how to the configuration step how to we can configure azure recovery service vault so i just go for creating resource groups first step you need to create the resource group second step you need to uh, create a storage account third you need to create one file share and they put one file or like this one and create a recovery second uh, third fourth step recovery service vault you need to create so we will go for the steps uh, each uh, one by one step in our azure portal okay so we now going for portal.azure.com okay okay so this is our portal.azure.com i coming here okay then you need to first you need to go for create uh, create a resource group okay how to we can <coughs> sorry create a resource group click here the blade azure blade it is called as like a blade then uh, you need to go here and create one resource group I, I am already create one resource group so i just go for here you just create your resource so i just go for our uh, already created resource group so just click this resource group and here you need to click here or here first step what what is the step we provide a create a resource group we finish already create a storage account okay I just go for type storage storage account so first you need to go for storage account then create a storage create storage account and here you need to select your resource group okay after that you need to storage account name what storage account name I put Azure uh, keyword. Part of the name you need just included. I just put keyword. Uh, keyword. Yeah, keyword demo. I just put this one. And uh, the name account will already take. Okay, so we need to remove this one. I just put storage demo. Okay, then yeah, this also. Done. okay so region you need to check your region east us and also the region is very very important i will tell you after that one things and performance you can select your buffer standard on the permit now the demo purpose you can we will select for standard and just uh, geo reddance whatever the unit you can select uh, local reddance or geo reddance it means the complete secondary region also backup whatever the service you need to select it and just we go put the next i will click the next then require a transfer as the AP and whatever the minimum deal is. This is default I will select. Okay. Next in it, uh, networking. And here you can enable public access from the all the network. Or whatever you need public or you need to disable the public also you can do it this one. So now I will go for the normal as per the default. Data protection. Also you can provide the data protection also. But I will just also for the demo purpose I will go to the normal service. Next encryption normal whatever the default encryption will be provided from the 
Microsoft side. Just I will go for that one also. And next is tag. And next is review. Then just wait for the review. Okay. Okay. Review is completed. Then we will try to create. Okay. So this will okay submit the deployment so they will uh, they will start for creating okay okay now we are waiting for our uh, storage account will be created okay after finish the storage account created we just uh, go to make one file share okay i will come back after the storage account will be created okay Okay, I just come back now. Our storage account is created. We we go for the go to the resource. Okay, just I go to the resource and I will check the storage account now. What is the Otherwise, you just click the Microsoft Azure and just click see the storage account is created. Otherwise, you can go for your resource and you can check the storage account is there. See, already the storage account is already created. And just okay, just to go to the storage account and put one file share. Make one file share. Okay. I just click the file share okay I just wait for the file sharing okay okay the file share is created okay please okay plus the file share okay I just add the file share I just put the name in the file share okay uh, demo file share okay put demo file share then transactions demo file share okay the created transaction is optimized hot and cool optimized general purpose sharing and uh, transaction optimization. whatever this service you can take it okay just uh, i will put create and create okay i just wait for the file share creation okay so after file share creation we just upload one file here okay demo files i just click here and i just now upload one file okay and here i will okay this is my file share and just i upload one file here browser file here i just will go for click here so i just put one screenshot here i just upload it okay then i'm waiting to upload it then upload see the upload is successful okay after upload finish we just close here we need to check our uh, uh, file is already uploaded or not. so we just wait for yeah our file is already uploaded so the second step also we completed we make the one storage account and we make one file share so next step we needed to create our service vault okay service vault and i will show you how to we can create a recovery service vault so I just go for uh, our portal, our Microsoft Azure portal. Then I will Microsoft Azure and recovery service world. Recovery, you can type here recovery service. You can get it. Okay. I just click recovery service world. Okay. After that, you just create the recovery service world. Recovery service world. Then you need to select your resource group. After that, enter your recovery service world. We need to put the name. I will put my name demo service vault service vault demo service whatever the name I just uh, then I will click next networking allow the public access from the all the network whatever the and deny you can deny or you can but I will go for allow the public access from the all the network then I will click uh, next tag and if you need to put the tag also but in the real scenario you should be put the tag because you can easily identify okay then after that review and create i just click review and create so we need to wait for little time to complete this step okay just to wait for little time yeah they will start initialization it take time i will come back okay so now i come back you can see our um, Resource world is completed. Microsoft uh, recovery service world is completed. We can go for our resource now. But I will tell you something before I will go for uh, service. Okay, 
I just go for Microsoft Azure and I will check our storage, okay, apply, so resource group, and then I will check. See, you need the difference East US and East US. Whatever the your storage account is, recovery vault also the same same region you need to if you different region you cannot select for the storage so the location is each each situation is same in the Azure service but it's like uh, in your doing in the on premises no problem but Azure your location is same otherwise is you cannot find the storage account. so you can understand what the point location is the same service okay the like same location so um, okay now our uh, recovery vault is there so we will go for this one demo service okay so we now backup we will click this backup okay then we will just wait for the backup will be complete that later so okay just wait for this one. backup for the backup try your new backup center okay so where you are look workload is running so we can select here Azure Azure stack and Azure stack HC and on premises so our workload now Azure okay so we will select if you have the workload is on premise you just select for on premise but now I will select our workload is in Azure okay so I will just click Azure and what you want to backup we want to backup Azure file share okay currently I have Azure so before I mention you you can see the template whatever you Azure virtual machine Azure file share SQL server and SAP HANA. This is before I tell you the uh, the first time the introduction time, what the template is available there. Okay. So now what you want to backup? I need I need to backup Azure File Share. So I will select this Azure File Share. Okay. Then I will click backup. So now the backup mode. So here you know here we needed to select our storage account before we are created already our storage account. So select here the storage account. So you are not coming, so just refresh, before you re uh, refresh you need to know about whatever the storage account, just refresh. So our storage account name is storage demo, okay, we will go to demo service and our pre vault again because i refresh already okay then i will go for the backup okay then i will select the azure file share and just click the backup so you now check uh, with the, the name demo okay i will check this demo yeah story demo is available so now you select the storage demo I will now no need to enable because it's demo purpose I just click OK it take little time to registering just wait for little time see now our uh, registration is completed it take little bit time I am now come back OK See now the storage demo before whatever the storage account you create the name is be selected and it's coming already here. Okay. So next one we needed to add our file share back. Okay. Just click add button. You can see whatever the file share you create. See this file share be before create. Just select and click OK. So now you needed to because see here policy did backup policy and I will do another video also how to we can put. But now I will select the policy as per the recommended from the Microsoft okay and you can also edit the policy and whatever you need okay you can create also policy okay so I will click enable backup so now I will uh, start uh, submitting deployment okay but it's take little bit time okay I will come back after complete okay so I think it take little bit time just to wait for me so now the deployment process is completed we just to go for our resource uh, we will check the keyword okay just to go to click your so demo service recovery service keyword and then you need to check the backup items go here backup items then you can see see now you can see the Azure storage Azure file is backup 
if you click this one you can see that see yeah. okay here i will tell you see now the backup is there so this error because the backup is not in you need to know immediately just click here and backup now so after that this backup is completed so just click this one because as per the policy we already triggered the our backup but the policy is not completed so we it's automatically will be backup no problem but the problem is uh, that triggering time the time is little bit time pending okay so if we can come here and we can backup now then it's automatically backup no problem so just to wait for the completion so now the triggering backup is completed just we just refresh here okay see now it's active so this is the step to uh, to how to configure, configure the files and folder create the resource group create storage account create files here and create recovery service here so i think you can understand my demo for how to do this one if you like if you like my video just subscribe and like and share thank you so much for your support